College football playoff semifinal Saturday shifts to Atlanta, the epicenter of college football. And the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl hosts the semifinal for the third time. So here comes C.J. Stroud, who was spectacular in his only previous postseason game at the Rose Bowl. I'm C.J. Stroud, quarterback for the Ohio State University. Stroud on fire tonight. I was a backup to Justin Fields in 2020. After two straight years as a Heisman finalist, I want to bring the title back to Columbus. 37 touchdown passes, just six interceptions, and so much on the shoulders of T.J. Stroud tonight for Ohio State. Their running game was depleted. We'll detail that. Expect a lot of pass attempts, and they'll throw to begin the game. And Stroud has a clean pocket and finds his top target, Marvin Harrison Jr., who's got a 10-yard gain and a quick first down. They're tops in the country, only allowing 77 yards a game. Ohio State has to run some to make Georgia aware of it. Just keeping them honest, right? Stroud looking to throw on second and seven. Has time, misfires. He threw outside. Harrison had cut back inside. It's Georgia defense is a nightmare. And here comes the noise. Working with a silent count like it's a road game. Georgia rushes forward, but they get home. And a quick sack coming on the blitz. Smile Munden. Watch this, watch this movement right here by the two linebackers. It looks like you're going to see move from Dumas Johnson. And Dumas Johnson backs out. And then you see M Munden come through. Confuse the offensive line. Think about Ohio State, all these points. That's without m mainly Trevion Henderson, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Both those guys were Heisman candidates in August. Stroud, deep drop, and looks and has Harrison wide open. Damari Lasseter just lost him in coverage. They're in Georgia territory. He's the most gifted receiver in college football this year. 24 yard gain, 74th catch of the season. Xavier Johnson, a receiver, lines up in the backfield. They fake it to him, and Stroud moves the pocket and flips it across the middle, and it's complete. And it's Emeka Abuka, who will try to work the middle of that Georgia defense tonight. Justin Carter, what a tandem inside. Stackhouse, second team all SEC. Carter rated perhaps the top overall pick on the draft board. Plenty of time for Stroud. Directing receivers, flips it to the end zone, caught, touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. making a huge impact, and the Buckeyes draw first blood, 31 yards. This is beautiful, Chris. Watch the job of the coverage downfield. Watch the job of this defense and watch how C.J. Stroud work. Look at the pocket. Look at the pocket. Now watch Marvin Harrison and watch what C.J. Stroud does with his hand. Get over. He turns him and directs him to that corner. And see that point? Hey, man, get over to that right corner and I'm going to hit you. Puts it right where Marvin Harris can make a play. And the Buckeyes find some confidence here early. Up seven. That's down Hayden in the tailback. Stroud checks it to a Buka, goes up and makes the high catch. And able to motor for a few yards. Can Georgia get pressure on C.J. Stroud? Stroud on the move, flips it out. Stover to tight end, hurdles a man. Backside gives him a chance here now on third and short. Yeah, third and the long yard hasn't been automatic for this offense. Often it's a passing down. Stroud. Does throw for it. Abuka's got it, and he gets to the Georgia 40-yard line. I think he had a free play. Georgia jumped in the neutral zone yeah, before I think the they snap. Did. Offside, defense number 78. The penalties decline. The result of the play is a first down. Not impressed by anything he's seen so far. <laughs> he's seen a lot. Strat on the move. Bootlegs back. And once again. Finds Harrison and Marvin Harrison Jr. tracked down from behind. They knocked the ball loose. Could Georgia collect it? No. 
It bounced out of bounds. Ryan Day, a good time to move the pocket, move that launch point. Again, this secondary struggling. They keep going after Lasseter, struggling against 18. He's trying to make a play and gives Starks a lot of credit with his effort. Also from behind, Ringo knocks it loose there. Ball's in play. Georgia has a chance, but the ball goes out of bounds. The Buckeyes continue to make plays in his pass game. He brings much more sudden and quickness to that backfield. He really saved him against Maryland. Sure did. Yard game, a couple of touchdowns. Yeah. One of those crucial red zone trips that they have spent a lot of time preparing for in the last month. Still eight on the play clock. And it's a design run. They don't do it often. Bulldogs are ready for it. Chambliss with a shake of the head. Uh -uh. That's not working tonight. So one of those four-point plays. Is it going to be a touchdown or a field goal attempt? They need six on third. Williams back in the game. Stroud has time. Flips into the end zone. High and over the head. Here comes a flag. And Mecca Buka was well covered. Georgia fans saying uncatchable. But that's a P.I. in the end zone. Looks like Bullard would be the guilty party. Pass interference. Defense number 22. Ball replaced at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. Not Von Bullard. Ohio State with a switch release. See the tight end work to the middle. They're trying to create some confusion on the back end. Bullard actually picks it up. Stroud is dialed in tonight. One of those performances. It's early, long way to go, but he was this way in the Rose Bowl against Utah. Picked him apart. Here comes big Jalen Carter in. Late substitutions for the Dogs defense. Williams and Rossi in the backfield. Stroud for the pylon. Harrison diving attempt. Couldn't come up with it in front of Ringo. Second down. Yeah, those late substitutions. I think Jalen Carter wanted to be in, in the on the field. You know, this is first and goal. He's trying to get out on the field. This is a play Ohio State ran a lot to Chris Olave. Thing off the field. Stroud up seven takes over at the plus 30. Pressure. He avoids it and delivers a strike along the sideline. Had to get away from the rush and found Fleming. Wow. Jalen Carter, many think, will be the first pick in the draft because of these moves right here. And C.J. Stroud, this is the toughest thing you can do as a quarterback. Pressure up the middle, steps away, vision downfield. Jalen Carter goes off the field. Now they bring in the tailback Chip Trainum, who is a linebacker until a shift midseason. Stroud harassed. He escapes again, and it's in. No, throw to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Harrison again. Stroud, like a maestro, escapes the sack and delivers a strike for the second time to his star receiver. Once again on a scramble, he looks for his guy. They work on this. C.J. Stroud, though, is doing things that he hasn't really shown in these big games, and that's creating with his legs and making plays. We just saw this before. This time, the offensive line beaten. Look at that. He's sacked. Steps up. Now he's got to get to the outside, and great job by Marvin Harrison scrambling away with him to get away from Ringo for that touchdown. George is down 14. Great point. He's about four inches tall, about 20 pounds bigger. And a little stronger, too. Across the middle, and that one's incomplete. That was intended for Harrison and Ringo, who says, I'll cover 18. Let me have a go. Georgia trying to build momentum right here. Off the touchdown, trying to get off the field in third and seven. Here comes the noise. They rush four, and Stroud is going to be harassed. Simulated pressure. And that's Williams who gets home. Receiver, both teams dealing without excellent tight ends at the moment. So the Buckeyes, suddenly it's dead even again. Stroud trying to rediscover the rhythm. And catch is made across by Joe Royer, who's filling in for Stover. Yeah, and putting holes up. 
Word can do it, but that's just his second catch of the season. Stroud on the move, pump fakes and delivers a low throw, incomplete to Nabuka. Offense still out there. Ho, ho, ho. Now, does he go shotgun or does he get under center with a back behind him and just push him for the first down? Big Jalen Carter right across from center, Luke Whipler. Now you don't want to run at 88, right? He's right here. Rossi in motion. Stroud's going to try to make it around the edge. A flag is down. I don't know if they were set there. It's going to be I, illegal motion, I, I think. I think Rossi moved towards the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. He was in motion, and I think he moved towards the, the, the line before the ball was snapped. Illegal motion. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Down. Well, we got a chance to see that Day was putting his money where his mouth is. He was going to gamble. They were going to make it, if not for the penalty, easily. Oh, what a call. I mean, they seal the edge. There he is. And he see how he gets going forward? Bill, it looked like he jumped That's the gun. That's a correct call. He's moving forward prior to the snap. At the snap. That's illegal motion. What a play call, by the way. Everybody oh. isolated right now at the top with the three receivers at the bottom. Lasseter covering him. Back-to-back -back three and outs for Ohio State after three consecutive touchdown drives. They flip it short on the screen. Johnson, the old hand in that receiving room, works across the 30. Williams knocked him down. A little tempo for Ohio State. Clean pocket across the middle. Nabuka in full stride there. Accurate delivery on the run, and suddenly Ohio State's at midfield. And the ball's getting out much quicker. Abuka matched up there in a mismatch against Siobhan Bullard, who's a, a good player, but matched up one-on-one -on -one with space. Abuka's going to win that, especially when the ball gets out that quickly, and he gets separation. His fourth catch of the first half. Stroud steps up and delivers. That's Julian Fleming. And the big physical receiver down to the 36 before Ringo tackles yeah, him. Beats Ringo to the inside. Good job at the stem of the route. Faking, kind of giving that outside look and then back to the inside. Second time in a row, they're working the middle. Stroud has rediscovered that rhythm. Flips it right down the middle. It's Johnson who's got it. Spinning to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State, as they reclaim the lead. Third touchdown for Stroud in the half. Concerned about the receivers, so they have two safeties back here, right? Well, look in the middle. The matchup that Ohio State creates here with Xavier Johnson. It's exactly what they want. One-on-one -on -one against the middle linebacker. And instead of just kind of pulling up underneath, he goes right by Javon Dumas Johnson. And how about that layered throw? Just kind of a soft touch. Knew the safety is, had split and he knew that he had separation to be able to get the ball to Johnson behind that middle backer. Well, Bennett and Stroud, more than 400 passing yards combined. Stroud with those three first half touchdown passes to DeMarvin Harrison Jr. They knew he couldn't return to this game, so they have taken him to the hospital. C.J. Stroud, before he left the field, looked at him and said, brother, no matter what happens, I love you and I've got you, but it must be significant because Cade Stover is one of the toughest guys on this team. He's been farming in about six degree weather, birthing calves. If he's in pain, it's something significant. He's the toughest kid on the team. Totally right, Holly. I was just thinking that. If he can't go, then it's serious pain. It takes a lot to keep Stover out, but they have to do without their tight end. Now Stroud, deep drop, looking downfield, launches for Fleming, who comes back to the football. He was underthrown, but he collects it at the 45 in front of Ringo. Boy, what a good job by the pass protection up front. Mitch Rossi's in there to help out. He's here. He works up and all the way across. They move that pocket, get away from the pressure, gets just enough time, and look in the background there, the job that Fleming does at the time where he was able to make a big play, positive yards on first and ten. Three receivers stacked to the right. Stroud looking to launch again, and it's Abuka again inside the 20. Another accurate downfield throw by the quarterback. A little bit more than your, your, your average dome. Second half, you start to get tired up front. On third and two, play action flipped wide open. Abuka, touchdown Ohio State. What a start for the third quarter for the Buckeyes.
with the three and out stop, and they take it 70 in six plays. They Double put, digit lead. Yeah. Chris, they've got a lot of pressure here, and here comes the motion, right? Anytime you motion that from the back side, he's, a lot of times he'll get lost in coverage. Nobody follows him over in man coverage. Nobody in the flat. Back on top by double digits here. Stroud with four touchdowns tonight. Only four incompletions. Look at Stroud's numbers tonight. He's 16 to 20, 284 and four against man coverage. You know, 16 of his 18 completions, Kirk when the receiver is either open or wide open, which is more than five yards for the defender right. and the receiver gap. That, that's unusual for Georgia's coverage. Backside pressure, they've got him. And that was Bullard coming on the blitz. Third sack. You mean with Cage Sober out, Mitch Rossi in? You wonder if he should have recognized that blitz and picked that up. He released. If you count the coaches, they had about 16 guys out there. It's a big play. Stroud in his end zone. Protection holds up, delivers down the field. Harrison just over the big man's hands. And well covered by Georgia, but that was the big play Harrison's been looking for since that active first quarter. Watch him work to the middle with the safeties going wide. He wants to work around the coverage and then get into that hole, but the ball just a little bit too high. In the way Stetson Bennett can spin it, they're thinking a touchdown. They desperately needed points. Now their defense has to step up. Play action, Stroud looking downfield and now retreating. A flag is out. He finds a Buka along the sideline, but this flag is in the holding zone. Holding. Offense number 79. 10-yard penalty. Replay first down. First and 20. Johnson and Rossi flanking Stroud. He backpedals. is flushed again. And one more time outside the pocket. Delivers to Harrison downfield. And Ringo interfered with him. Easy, obvious call. Ringo didn't mind that because it prevented a big play. Harrison was loose again. And again, we most of this Pass night. Interference. Defense number five. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Consistently, despite how talented he is, and he's a first-round draft board kind of guy, according to a lot of the experts. So that was his first and 20. Ohio State rescue from that. Stroud takes off. And that Georgia defense getting worn out, having to chase him down. For being out, and it's been Rossi. 17 yards is their longest run. Stroud has a man open. It's Abuka knocked out of the 10. Ohio State threatening to bust this open late third quarter. They did their job as a defense. They pinned Ohio State. They got him off the field. They got great field position, and then they're not able to capitalize. The Buckeyes are looking to make them pay for it. Second and goal. Stroud, the corner. They're trying to throw kind of a back shoulder fade to Fleming, but... Well covered that time by Ringo, and let's see if they get Stroud outside of the pocket. And third and goal, it's been effective tonight. Three receivers shift over to the left, and it is Harrison on the bottom of the screen. One-on-one. -on -one. Stroud rolling, looking that way, retreating, and he'll just throw it out of the back of the end zone. There was heavy pressure. Actually, a flag comes out. I thought it was going to be way beyond the end line. Harrison worked his way back and actually made a play on the ball and is down on the field. That ball was fluttering, and I thought had no chance to be completed. Harrison being attended to by the athletic training staff. It, somehow, that ball almost came down inbounds on the back end. I thought it was with you. I, it was fluttering. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense number 22. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. The play is under review. Bill Lemagne replay took this targeting rule. Off. It's not rule targeting. Your thoughts? I agree with replay. It gets a better blocking angle. Stroud across the middle, and Buckeye friends wanted a flag. A late one came in, but they're saying the pass was deflected at the line, so we'll see if they pick it up. He was trying to find Royer, the tight end, filling in for Stover. There is no foul for defensive pass interference. The ball was tipped. I think it was right in the middle with Jalen Carter. 
See 88 get his hand up there. Yeah, get his left hand up there to knock that away or rear right. I mean, that's pass interference and a first down. Now it's third down. Secondary players really having to step up for Ohio State. Third and seven. Play clock winding down. Stroud escapes, doesn't do this often. But when he's needed to, he, Ryan says he got the first down. Smile Munden knocked him out. The officials don't agree. They'll spot him short. Well, going to be fourth and a long yard. He did not hesitate. He saw man coverage, pulled it down, and it became a foot race with Munden and Stroud. Munden kind of spying there with man coverage, and he makes the play to keep Stroud short. They've handled the noise very well. It's been a poised offense tonight, and a poised quarterback. Pressure comes, they pick it up, and the completion is made. And there's that all gas, no breaks from Ryan Day. And filling big shoes. Johnson's in the backfield. They fake the pitch to him, and Stroud escapes pressure. Avoids the sack, which is big, but also picks up positive yards on first down. Knocked out hard at the 49. Just trying to stay ahead of the chains here. Lock inside of seven minutes. Dogs are showing pressure. He brings some. Stroud spins away. Tucks the ball. C.J. Stroud still running. Toughness from the quarterback position. They're inside the 35. How about Xavier Johnson? Wide receiver, the next play. Running back, pick up the blitz. Just enough to chip Bowler to not let him get home to get to Stroud. And then with the man-to-man -man coverage. And the pressure. They're, they're, again, Xavier Johnson, lineup receiver. Now he's at running back. Slides out that reverse. And then again, there's the speed that he has. Be able to run away from those defenders. Looking at the knee of the All-SEC freshman lineman for Georgia. We'll take a break. But uh, perhaps some more plot twists and turns to come. 6.02, it's second and eight with that timeout for the injury. Stroud checks it down to Johnson, and he is hit immediately by Ringo and knocked down. Jackson Smith and Jacob banged up all year. Those were two Heisman candidates in August. Now he's got Marvin Harrison down. Here she is saying, come on, baby. C.J. Stroud's mom, what a performance by number seven for the Buckeyes. And he creates something on third and eight. Gets the ball a quickly. Catch made by Abuka, who spins for a first down. A big one inside the 25. Two timeouts. Touchdown would win it if they settle for a field goal. This is huge. Keeper. Can he get the edge? Yes, he can. That was a design run. Ooh, somebody got flattened on the sideline there. Ingram Dawkins ushered him out. CJ making sure that person is okay. Inside of four minutes. And Ryan Day came flying down the sidelines to make an adjustment. Stroud will be sacked. It was a slow developing play. And they could not keep Dumas Johnson out of the backfield. Bullard helped him out. That's a huge play for Georgia. They come again. Yeah, showing pressure. And they bring it. Stroud backpedals and flips it incomplete. But let's see if C.J. Stroud, who trails now for the first time since it was a three-point game way back in the second quarter. Yeah, I hate no you. Marvin Harrison Jr. out say, there. No, no, number 18 is not going to be out there, which means, again, a, a Mecca, Buka, and Julian Fleming, and, and Xavier Johnson will have to make plays. The that Georgia pass rush, which at times tonight has looked exhausted. And they dig deep and make this series hard for Stroud. He's flushed on the run, tucks it, and takes his five yards. Looking at it. It's comfortable to have those two timeouts. Long throw and a catch by Fleming who's out across the 40. It's all about giving Stroud enough time. Nice job right there. And they pick. That's a long throw by C.J. Stroud from that right hash all the way as an outcut to the boundary and they get out of bounds. 
Stroud. Flushed again. He's got a lot of space. Right up the middle. CJ Stroud. Down into field goal range at the 30. Never in his life has he had a game like this, winning with his legs and his arm. And we talked about trying to get in around the 35 to have a chance, you know, for Ohio State fans. It's having visions of Cardale Jones scrambling like that against Alabama right down the middle of the field. But how about he waits and waits until he makes this decision? Look at the coverage. Look at everybody having their backs turned here, right? They're playing man-to-man. -man. Everybody clears out, and it just opens up. Nobody there to account for him. As much as he's done today with his legs coming into this game, that was not on the scouting report. I mean, sure, he's athletic, but like you said, this is a career game with what he's doing, running the football and keeping plays alive. You have a timeout, but you don't want to move out of field goal range. Got Rossi in the backfield with him. It's the pressure. Brown gets it out quickly, incomplete on the slant, tried to find Johnson, Ringo in coverage. Through the hands. Pressure again, Stroud spinning away, cannot take a sack here, heaves it out of bounds, that sack would have pulled him way out of field goal range. So with eight seconds to go, here comes Noah Ruggles. So here we go, Noah Ruggles, living his dream, kicking for Ohio State from 50 for the win and a spot in the national championship game. It's on the way. No good. He hooked it. Ohio State falls one kick short. And C.J. Stroud's tremendous effort. Four touchdown passes. Huge scrambles. Not quite enough. To... <laughs> but the, the ball, it just, it didn't even have a good rotation. No. Right? He, just, he just lost it. He's right from uh, the time it left his foot. And Stetson Bennett and C.J. Stroud, massive show of respect. Two guys who played brilliantly tonight.